Ah, folks. Hello again. And I'm back for another tutorial. So today, where to start? Where to start? Okay. Up on the easel. I have a 10 by 8 rectangle here, which I've drawn out on a piece of uh, extra fine cotton canvas. And I think I'm going to do a bit of a sunrise sunset type of thing today with a silhouetted tree and landscape. So over on the easel here, let's have a wee look at the easel. Or, goodness me, I'm feeling a bit, bit tired today, so I'm just going to play along and see what happens. Over on the palette here, here we have, over here, this is uh, Ordinary White Spirits. Galkide medium, lamp black, ultramarine blue, titanium white, oxide red, transparent oxide red, raw umber, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, and phthalo blue. I use quite a limited palette, it's just greens and, or sorry, it's yellow, blue, and red with a, a vibrant green. Right, okay folks, I'm just going to remove some of the white off the canvas. I'll take you back to the main view. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to dip into a little bit of spirits here, a little bit of... I just want to take... I just want to take the... Uh, the white off this. It's a bit saturated, but it's only the background for now. I'll pull that back soon enough, so I'll we'll get a little bit of blue in it up at the top here, a little bit of ultramarine. And we see above. I'll not be wanting it this saturated by the time I get around to it, but just removing this white mainly. Now what I want down here is a is a white down here. And a little bit of that's thinned out now with um lots of mineral spurts. It will set up for me soon enough, so I'll, I'll be able to. I think I might stick a hair dryer on. Now, it's true that oil paints don't dry via evaporation, but white spirits do. So that can speed the process along. All right. I think I'll just, I'll just remove a bit of this. Somewhere to put my tree, I'll put it somewhere in here. It'll be a silhouetted tree, so I'm going to go pretty dark here. For now. Okay. I'll take a... By the way, I was just using this um, uh, half-inch Rosemary Co. 303, Series 303. I got the wrong glasses on again, folks. No cool. Anyways, this is a uh, three quarter inch 303. This is for the, the background here. Now I'm gonna be using oxide red and some phthalo green. It gets me a nice dark color here. So it does a nice dark tone. And I want it silhouetted, so some, some blues here. This is a warm night. I'm going to create a the warm night of the sunset, which will be there. I'm going to be creating a, a silhouetted dark, cool background. All right. Haha. <laughs> I 
nice taking my time today. No rush. Any of you in any rush today? Uh, let me see. A little bit of red. Now, I want this thalo green. I want it nice in the foreground. I want it relatively well saturated here in the foreground. And nice and dark, as it should be. I need to get a bit more out. Okay. Keeping it saturated here in the foreground and using a lot of uh a lot of spirits here just to okay there we go now i'm going to remove some or to put in a little bit of water okay let me see i bring it over to the edge here bring this down in here As I say, this will set up pretty quickly for me. Now I'm going to be removing some of this here. I'm going to be putting a yellowish orange on here. And I don't want it to go green on me. I'm going to be removing a fair ton, a fair bit of this. Okay. It should help a bit. Oh, shoot. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Getting there. Right. I'm using a half inch Rosemary and Co. Series 236. Ready, now, let's see. Right, I'm gonna go for that orange. Remembering that this is just a, a background for now. That's why there's so much mineral spirits being used. I'm gonna use a little bit of this violet here just to knock the orange back a bit. There we go. You don't want it too, too vibrant. Not at this stage. You can bring all that vibrancy in later. You can. Although that is quite vibrant. You can just kill it off a bit. Bring that into more of a peachy color. Now coming up into the, to the thing here, I want this to be a, a ladies blue. Oh, oh, that's a bit too much. There we go. A bit more spirits. Bringing this up into here. Oh yeah, now we're, we're getting into this as a nice greenish blue. That's good, that's good. I'll need that. Stop myself here and get a little bit of uh, titanium white to run out of it here. Mm, look at that. Now we're going to come up into a gradient sky here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Some colors when they mix, they can be quite beautiful. Look on. Yeah, when they mix well. You can see it, the beginnings of it. It's quite nice at times. Now, coming up in here, I'm gonna be a heavy, a heavy dark blue up in here, just to get that contrast. And a gray, I want a graying out, so put a bit of orange in it to make sure that I'm, I'm graying it out enough. Okay. Oh, look at that. In a lovely color. Isn't that just nice? I don't know. Okay. Right, a little bit of liquid on it this time. I want to. I like adding a liquid to it. It means it's ready for me tomorrow if I choose to. I'm going to put a bit of, of uh, cadmium red in this. Just that. Yeah, that's a bit better. There we go. Now, start mixing it all together so we can get a blend going here. Or not a blend, a gradient, folks. There we go. 
nice and gentle too at times. Sometimes you can be rough and sometimes you can be gentle. And it pays to be both. Right, I need some more titanium white. Okay, okay. Right, that should do. Well, most of this is uh, just out of my mind. Most of this is, uh, I had a wee look online earlier and saw what I wanted and got myself inspired by some photos. And then I came in here and started. Sometimes I have a, a reference there. I have a reference normally on the larger ones. I put a bit of reference in it, so I do. Um, uh, but then most of that is done on on Photoshop, so it kind of is from my mind as well. Not all the time. Sometimes commissions can um, uh, will tie you completely to your reference photo. All right, now for now, I'll leave that for now. Bada bada boom, I think. No, don't entirely leave it for now. I'm gonna talk. Entirely. What I need to do is I need to just wiping off my brush here a little bit, folks. I want to bring this down a bit. Bring this white down a bit. I just think that it's a bit too, bit too high here. There we go. There we go. Now we can get ourselves a nice sunset going. So we can. And I choose that this will be a sunset. And it's just a choice. Sunsets and sunrises are very similar. Not all the time, but a lot of the times are very similar. Right, so, now where are we? Let's get back to, let's do a little bit of water here. Right, so, I'm going to need to get some blue out too, so a little bit of ultramarine out, a little bit of warmth in it here. I'll be using the valet underneath to help with that, so I will. Okay, let me see. Oh, very, very dark actually. Well, I'll lighten it as I'm going along. So. And remember to put some of that sky in there too. Some of that orange in. Let me see. That's my neighbor's dog, if you can hear it. Barking, barking. Barking, barking all the time. A nice wee dog. He is a nice wee dog. He likes to know, he likes to let you know that he's there. <laughs> Add some of that sky orange in a moment, but I'll do for the time being. Yes. Right. Okay. This here needs to be really need to bring this edge over a bit here. So I'll do. I'm going to come up into here purposefully so it all blends and softens up. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of spirits here just to loosen it up a little bit. There we go. I'm not messing around with this one, eh? Put it in. Now, I'll be wanting soft edges around here, so... I'm just going to be a little bit gentle. I don't want it mixing too much with what's underneath. So a little bit of a, a little bit of spirits on this, a little bit of a orange here. That will help the idea that the, oh, a little bit more actually, that the idea that the sun is shining. Oh, that was way too much. I accidentally jumped into that. Okay, because the idea that the sun is 
journeying through these branches. In branches? Um, I just see what I'm doing with the brush on the pollen. I'm just squeezing it down, creating a, a random edge on it so that it Sometimes, as you're going along, you just want things to be a little bit different than what they, they're presenting themselves to be. Okay. All right, now we're talking, okay. I remember, folks, I'm purposefully going fast here. I'm trying to create a a fast work f so that you can see that you don't need to spend hours on end and something just to create a nice piece for yourself and hopefully this will show you that hopefully you can see it from that perspective in here today is a wee bit awkward and hard to see. I want to soften those edges up. They are a bit harsh. A bit harsh. Okay, just don't be, I don't want to be too cautious with it, so I'll just you know, flick them about. Create that randomness, that abstraction. You see how they, it looks as if the, the sky is poking through. No. I'm going to come down here. I want this to be a bit more silhouette and a bit warm. Oh, do. Yeah, now look. Now we get the, the sunset coming through these wee soft areas down here. And peeking through. Ah, ah, that's not so bad now. Now, I want to create a a bit of an area here, so I do. And I want it to be relatively, because it's at the forefront, I want it to be relatively dark and relatively saturated. And I'm just using these little blending brushes at the minute. I'll probably shift onto something else soon enough. They are good for creating randomness. And look at that. Look at that for randomness, eh? Oh, you could, you'd hardly get, let me see, I need to bring the exposure up a bit here, don't I? There we go. You should be able to see that now. There we go. That creates this little brush, cheap, cheap brush. For me, it creates lovely, Lovely textures. Oh, it does. And I came here to blend. And I got distracted. A little bit more. I just want to blend this here at the top here. So I do. Yes, taking that in. And it quickly sets up when you put on those. Um, um, <coughs> When you're using a lot of that mineral spurts, it can quickly set up on you. So it can. All right, so let me see now. Where, where are my, my brushes here? Oh, all right. I'm going to want some randomness down here. So I'm going to create it with a beat up brush. It's nothing more than a, a beat up brush. I want some cool areas down and around here. It's just a dark in this area here. Make it nice and cold. Because it's in the shade from all that warm light. Okay. Now, up here, just creating this. I think it's a, it needs a bit of... 
just creating the the random leaves up here and then just a little bit here so that you'd create uh, you don't want to overdo things try and judge it so that you you can see you know i want to do with this guy this guy's here and this guy's a bit blonde i'm going to I want to bl blend the blonde out of it for now there we go <laughs> there we go and then i'm going to add a few a few clouds up in here so i am to contrast against that uh not bright orange in the bright sky all right so i think i'll just i'll be using a little bit of cadmium red here with this i don't want i want dark but i don't want to go too dark i'll be judging that as i go along so a little bit of liquid here and let me see i just i and i want to be nice and careful at this stage so i'll do i'll start up in the, the darker area first there we go just to create and this will all be blended and just create the idea of some some wisps up here I don't know. right down in here i want it in behind the tree there we go and coming out here too okay I think I want a bit more red and that because it's closer to the light so it's going to it's going to exude that light a little bit and the light's going to reflect off it there it is this is a this is a highly saturated piece today so it is as opposed to the piece that I done yesterday which was all cloudy what it was nah, I, I don't want to be doing too much here I just keep mis trying to check myself before I rack myself as they say all right okay now I want to blend that sort of thing. just nice and gently I just want to take the edges off things soften it in a little bit there we we'll go just gently Keeping it nice and soft. Because clouds normally have a nice wisp to them. Especially if you're going for wispy clouds, which I am. And keep it nice and gentle. Keeping yourself away from that tree. Lest there be big splodges all over the place. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, uh, some tree trunks in here. Just to, as the contrast. And I want a nice bright area in here so it can reflect it down into the water. But let's get the uh, let's get some tree trunks in first. Let me see which brush to use. Which brush to use? I'll use this one. Okay. I'm just these are off in the distance, but I'm going to reflect one into here. So it's going to be nice and just about there. Yeah, okay, now. And there's a lot of uh, mineral spirits in this. Makes it nice and soft, or nice soft, like an inky consistency. <laughs> it allows you to um, uh, run it over the top of this wet paint. Okay, and just a, a couple here. focus on this one here right okay ne nearly nearly done folks for the quick tutorial I, I hope these are valuable to you hope they work for you just blend in a little bit of this out here 
All right, let me see. I want to bring some reflections of this water down in. So, what to do? What to do? And I think these wee brushes again. Absolutely outstanding for me. Love them. Gives you a lot of control over um, um, thing, uh, over small areas. Don't know, it could be uh, most likely just a personal preference. I wouldn't say that they're better than this or better than that. Just a, a personal preference. I think now, what I want to do is put a bit of scale, a bit of the scale into this here. I don't want too much, I just want it popping through. So I'm, doing. So I'm removing it here with a cotton bud. Right, so now, now I want a small flat, something that's not too. Nah, no. it's not too big so that I can have a bit of control over it. And where's my small flat? There we go. Next thing, it, to be more precise, it is a dagger, a small dagger. Okay. Now, nice and bright. Just bringing that in. Bringing the sky down into this here. Okay, a little bit of red. Just to bring it, bring the edges around. Okay. Ah, missed a bit. <laughs> hey, mistakes? They are no big deal to learn on. You just wipe them off. And let me see. No, not too happy with that. Okay, a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, just to put in here. And a little bit of liquid, help it dry a little bit. this out just a touch and just again using up a wee beat up brush just there we go now we're pushing it in there we go when we get out those reflections now ah that turned out okay just kill that little bit of a bottom edge there we go now as for the overall reflection of this tree into here, just a touch, not looking much to do here. Just let you know that, well, I'll, I'll reflect this one too, so we'll see that there. No. Yep, no. I'll just, I don't want too much. I just want to let you see that it's there. That should do it. Well, I'll put a little bit of sky through the tree here, so just a touch, just a touch. <coughs> right. In fact, what I will do here is I'll just remove a bit of it from with the the thing, and I maybe just settle on that actually, you know, because that can leave behind. A nice, a nice light, nice soft edge would come. And I'll get a better. Uh, I'm gonna have it removed. I'll show you what to do here. Here's the cotton bud and I remove uh, this part of it here. Just a little bit of it. And then it creates a sharper edge around the edge of it here. Okay, and allows me just to come up and 
You see that? And then in there, and there, and another one. Just there, and there. All right, folks. That's a colorful piece today. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you again soon. If you want to leave any comments below, please do. And uh, I suppose I have to say, if you want to like and subscribe, please like and subscribe. All the best, folks. Have a nice day. Bye now.